It's me, Stephen Kramer Glickman, and you are listening to the Nighttime Show live at Hollywood Improv. And have we got something that you're going to love. Someone amazing and someone incredible, someone wonderful and someone fantastic. This person is amazing. Um, was, sorry, that was... Is this supposed to be the musical episode of this our is, podcast? This is a musical. <laughs> you uh, forget that I don't sing? <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Matt. Um, I'm fired. Yeah, you're okay. you're out of here. Uh, our, our guest that you're about to listen to is a wonderful, wonderful actress. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've watched her play Lainey Lewis. Uh, we've all watched her play Lainey Lewis on the Goldbergs. Uh, and now she's playing Lainey Lewis on her own show schooled on ABC. She is, uh, was part of Allie and AJ, which was a, a huge, huge, um, band for a still long is. time. They're still, they're still she a huge and her band. Yeah. yeah. And, um, yeah, we have, uh, AJ Mashalka on the show and mm-hmm. she is just fantastic and really rolled with the punches on this one because we surprised her yes this you're gonna hear a moment in this and sometimes there are moments in the show where we say maybe there should be a song right now or hey maybe we should play a game right now or something like this and and the person the guest knows we're gonna do this yeah she had no idea no idea we totally surprised her what did we do matt tell tell people well they'll listen all right, just fine. Tune in. All right, uh, just listen I'm not to the show. Give it all away. All right, fine. <laughs> well, um, things things you'll you'll hear. Our audience <laughs> that night was a little. They were a little, a little rowdy, rowdy a little and rough, they yeah. they really <laughs> they were, giving, they it were to getting, her. giving it to her. And I started giving it back to them. It <laughs> yeah. was a whole situation. So, but she was uh, fantastic. But she just persevered yes. and and just blew, blew our minds. Our minds yeah. in half. Blew us out of the water. Yeah. Yeah. We. I had no idea what was going to happen. Uh, so listen to uh, listen to the episode now. You watched our next guest grow up in the movies like Super 8, The Lovely Bones, and Secretariat, or you may have been a fan of her very successful band, Ally and AJ. For the past few years, she starred as Lainey Lewis on The Goldbergs and is currently starring in the very successful spinoff, Schooled on ABC. Let's take a look, ladies and gentlemen. In the 80s, she was a student. In the 90s... I'm the new music teacher. I'm an adult now. You're wearing two different shoes. Shut up, nerd! From producers of the Goldbergs... Pretty sweet, the teachers eat for free. Teachers do not eat for free. You've just been grabbing food without paying? No. You can't kick me out of school. Yes, I can, I think. A new school comedy. Is this how you mosh? With old school friends. You're a teacher now. Act like it. (laughs) School series premiere Wednesday, January 9th on ABC. Son of a... Put your hands together for AJ Mashaka! Yeah! Get out of here! AJ! Keep it going, keep it going, guys, keep it going! Keep it going! Keep it going! Wow! AJ, how are you? I'm good. This is amazing. Uh, thank you so much for doing this show. Yeah, you, your career is really fun. Like we we started kind of like getting in there, kind of looking at all the stuff. I mean, like uh, you worked with Steven Spielberg and J.J. Abrams. Yeah, I gotta say, I don't think I even met Steven, but um, <laughs> I was part of Super Eight, which was really cool. That's amazing. And worked with J.J. Um, yeah. And it was a small part in a really amazing movie. I mean, Super 8 was incredible. Well, it's like, you, you look at something like that, and you're like, okay, that's super cool, right? But then you're like, oh, you were in Seabiscuit. And you're like, okay, you were in Seabiscuit, and you sang a song in Seabiscuit. Secret- Secretariat. In Secretariat. Yeah, yeah. Seabiscuit's like cousin film. Yeah. <laughs> but that's okay. Wrong horse. By the way, I, I have I've to made a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm turning 40. <laughs> I was like, no, old. that's the Tobey Maguire story. I wasn't in that one. Understandable. <laughs> birthday mistake. Everyone gets one birthday mistake. Actually, Thank I, you. I hate to say this, you guys. It's your second. Because you called my band Ally and AJ. It's Ally. Oh, it's and a- it's Ally. So For you get, God you get two birthday. No, no, no. It's okay. You get two Stephen, birthday strikes. Steven wrote down Ally and AJ. <laughs> but I love it. We're, 
we're, we are allies. So oh. Ally and AJ is fine. And that's your, and that's your sister. Ally and AJ's the band. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Wouldn't you no, rather, no. Sorry. I had to give you shit. It was hilarious. Wouldn't no. you rather be called Ally and AJ, though? Uh, honestly, like, it now makes me question things. It. We might change our band. Ally and AJ would be a great, like, spy show. It's like, really cute. Action. And we'll name the record Sea Biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> And you guys, you t- you had like a long break between albums because you just came out with a new album last year. Yeah. After yeah. like ten years. Yeah. Yeah. So we came out with an EP last year, and it had basically been ten years since our last record. Oh my god. Um, we were signed to a major label at a really young age and toured for a few years, put out two records, three records, um, and then took a really big break for music yeah. and really focused on the acting. And you both had great theater. acting careers. Yeah. Yeah, we have. No, it's yeah. we've been super lucky and to both be, you know, of the same fold and have like equally successful careers yeah. and work in acting and music and be And in you the played same sisters family. once. Like, and we've played sisters. Yeah. Uh, on Hellcats. Yeah. 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 Yeah, and we um we basically yeah, we came out with this record and it was our first, you know, EP in 10 years. We went on tour. Um, and we're about to release new music very soon, next month. Sweet. That's so yeah. awesome. Yeah. That's so, March, so awesome. March 29th. Thanks. March 29th is the first single. Um, and then next month is the EP release. What came first in your life? Was it music first and then acting? Like, how did it... Because it seems like you've been doing both for a long time. I mean, so kind of simultaneously. I feel like both started at a really young age. I guess, like, professionally, the thing that broke first was music in a way but I I had booked a commercial when I was like 10 like little things had started trickling in from a young age when we were you know just starting in the business but acting I guess professionally took off in our early teens what's it like to perform with your sister like when you guys would perform together what what's that like it's kind of neat it's amazing honestly touring is my favorite part of music Um, I love creating and you know coming up with what we're figuring out for an EP and what we want the sound to be and how we want the the songs to be, you know, what we want to say, how we want things to sound. Um, But I feel like touring and getting out, playing the live music and seeing the, you know, instant gratification, feeling that from the fans is like really special. That's so cool. How has your sound changed over the years? Our sound? Yeah, how has that changed over Um, the years? It's definitely, I think because our taste has changed a lot. I mean, we were kids when we were making, you know, our first record. So I think that the reason why that gap, I think, was so long is that we were just trying to figure out who we were as adults mm-hmm. creatively, you know. And I, I, I feel like our, our taste has changed immensely. And I think our love for music has grown. And I have a feeling that I hope this new music is kind of like a new chapter for our band in a way. Because I feel like we kind of found it in the last EP. Mm-hmm. But it's become more like electronic pop synth oriented as opposed to like acoustic singer-songwriter stuff. That's it's really interesting. Yeah, we actually, uh, uh, your, your, your co-star, it sounded like I was having a stroke just then. <laughs> yeah, 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 your, your co-star, Brian Callen, who's on Schooled with you, which is, you're the star of that show. It's you, it's him, it's Tim Meadows. It's a fucking great show. If you haven't been watching this show, it takes place in the 90s. It is super, super funny. Very irreverent. Great comedy. Thanks. Adam Goldberg, it's Adam Goldberg's show, right? Yeah. Not to be confused with the actor Adam Goldberg. Right. Yeah. It's Adam F. Goldberg. Adam F. Goldberg. Yeah. There's been Twitter wars over this, so I oh. just want to clarify. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, we actually have a message from Brian Callen for you. Well, he we asked him what he loves about you. So can you? You're kidding me. Can we play uh, with the video? One of my favorite facts about AJ is um, the fact that she does a mean Janis Joplin. Wow. Oh. Yeah, uh, a very short video made by a uh, very naked man. <laughs> that was so weird. Shot on an iPhone 2, I believe. Yeah. yeah shot what the on fuck, a, Brian? Shot on a Nokia. Yeah, what is... He sh- yo, he shot on a, on a sidekick. He's got oh, like, my whoa. God. <laughs> Season 2, you can get money to buy a new phone. Yeah, yeah. Come my on. God. Come I, on. I feel like Steven injected him with something and then filmed this video. Yeah. <laughs> Do it. Do the video. Um, uh, so, so he says that you do a mean Janis Joplin. I, I, Is that a thing? Is that? I, it's not a thing. Oh my god! Does he know this because you do it on set? Have you we don't want to put you on the spot or anything. I'm not like asking you to do like a tiny, like a one line. I'm not doing that, AJ. We would I'm never not, do we're that. We're not asking you to sing a line of anything at all. I don't even know if I can remember lyrics way right too now. Classy what, happened, <laughs> what happened is I was auditioning for this movie and they were telling this biopic story of Janis Joplin and her musical career. I, I don't know if it's still happening, but 
I auditioned for it, and I remember making the tape, and I remember I made part of it at Sony. I was in between some in between shooting, I guess, and my brother-in-law came down to the Sony lot and shot it in my trailer. And we made it look like it was Janice behind the scenes, like getting ready to go on stage. Oh, and yeah. so I shot the tape, and Brian was in front. He was out front. He could hear me. And he was like, what are you shooting in there? And I was like, I'm shooting this tape for Janis Joplin. He was like, can I see it when you're done? So I sent him the, the Vimeo link. I didn't get the role, but I, I did a pretty, pretty good Janice. Mm -hmm. Apparently, it stuck with Brian. It he stuck talks with about it. Himself, yeah. He talks about it shirtless. Oh, my gosh. OK. Um, um, it's out of our hands just, now. Just, 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 just. Oh, my God. Okay, 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 guys, relax. By, by the way, by the way, Shut I the am, fuck up I'm, for a second. <laughs> Let the woman prepare to do or not. <laughs> My God! This is what happened when KLOS comes this, down this here. This is what happened. By, by the way, I am, I am going to do it. I am going to do it. I just have to figure out the... Sorry, the lyrics. Can we swear on the show? Yeah, uh, sure. Yeah, yeah, you can say whatever you want. Uh, <laughs> Should we Google some lyrics for you? Would that help? Yeah, yeah, look up... Um, look up... Is it Tell Mama? That's what you're looking for? Tell Mama. God, I got that name. I love that we knew this was going to happen, but nobody looked up lyrics. This is so... This is so... I didn't know... We didn't know, she, we didn't know this was really going to so go down. It's that we're... Here we are recording on a podcast, and I'm like, um, can I just have a second to look up lyrics? It's like, no. no. it's fine. We'll, we'll cut, cut that out. We'll cut all that. People are yelling. It's a whole thing. Okay, you guys. Everybody be cool. Everyone be cool. You thought you found yourself a good girl. One who would love you and give you the world. Then you find, baby, that you've been misused. So come to me, honey. I'll do what you choose. I want you to. Well, tell mama all about it. Well, tell mama what do you need. Tell your mama, baby. What do you want? Tell your mama, baby. What do you need? What do you want? What do you need? What do you want? Oh, and I'll make everything all right. Come on! Motherfuckers better have stood up for that shit. <laughs> that was amazing. What casting person but, passed but, on but, that? Well, Who would I not didn't get, get it? Yeah, well, you know. But Brian loved my tape, so yeah. well, maybe we'll make our own Janice. Those casting directors oh, yeah. were high on Coke, probably. <laughs> no. They were high on Janice they went, Joplin's they went Coke. With Michelle Williams. <laughs> But, With, you know. Oh, well, screw that. Yeah. You're amazing. Matt, you and me are both uh, stand-up comedians, and I know we both uh, say a lot of things that are uh, very offensive on a mm -hmm. regular basis. Do you ever have trouble sleeping at night? Uh, yeah, not because of things I say, though. It's just because I have lousy pillows. Oh, okay. So you don't have like a horrible feeling of guilt sometimes for the Never. awful things. Oh, that, well, that's nice. Never. I'm proud of the horrible things that I say to people. <laughs> that's, no, that's good. That's a good way to yeah. be. Sometimes I, uh, I, I do have trouble sleeping, uh, or I did have trouble sleeping mm -hmm. until I got this brand new pillow. What kind of pillow? I mean, this is next level stuff, Matt. This thing, this is a pillow. Uh, you've never seen a pillow like this because uh, until recently it did not exist. It's called the buttress pillow. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is shaped like a butt and it has little legs and it's a, it's a, you got, you're not going to believe this. You got to go check it out. The buttress So it's like your face rests on a butt. Your face is is pressed into a butt crack while the legs support your uh, mm -hmm. your neck and shoulders basically it's it sounds comfortable it is very comfortable uh it's ergonomic uh am i saying that right er yes. ergonomic uh functional all natural and it's absolutely beautiful uh check this out this is this is from their website um soft but supportive with feeling with the feeling of a butt all right and the sweet spot is between the thighs and the cheeks which will gently cradle your head and support your neck great for side sleepers back sleepers and stomach sleepers it's squeezable slappable face variable uh relieve stress you know from having a long horrible day you've what what do you want to do at the end of a long day put your head in a butt that is a hundred percent right well, you could dress it up you can dress it down you want to throw you, some pjs you convince on it? me so where do i go get one of you these? go to the buttress pillow.com the buttress pillow.com that's t-h-e-b-u-t-t-r-e-s-s pillow.com 
Go to thebuttresspillow.com, Matt, and uh, get your sleep on. You'll have much better dreams. All right, let's get back to the show. Um, <laughs> now, being on, you were on the Goldbergs, which is uh, one of my favorite television shows. It's a, you know, one of the only yes. shows I've never missed an episode of. I've seen every episode. Really? Which, yeah, which is why uh, Sean uh, Gembroni, who plays uh, Adam Goldberg, he was on our show. I absolutely ad- adore and love that man. I love him too. Very much. Uh, and uh, and I, I, I love the new show. What's it like playing a teacher? Is it Are you having a fun time playing a teacher on the show? It's so much fun. I, I never saw Lainey going in this direction. I mean, obviously, this is 10 years later in the 90s, and yeah. she's struggling, figuring out, you know, who she is as an adult, kind of saw herself approaching, you know, late 20s and figuring out where do I want to put my music, and I'm not making it in a professional setting, so where do I go? And she ends up going back to her old high school, William Penn, and begs Tim Meadows' character for a job and becomes the music teacher. Um, and it's been really fun. I mean, I, I, first of all, I love kids. So being able to be a teacher of middle schoolers has actually been really fun because I totally. love kids. Um, but I also love music and it's a neat way to like instill this passion into these students, you know, where Lainey didn't necessarily know where to put her passion at the time yeah. and figures, well, this is what's been handed to me and I can still exercise what I love to do, but also kind of help, you know, instill what it is in these kids. Yeah. Uh, well, well, that's no, that's amazing. Um, there, there has been uh, recently a uh, a lot of uh, hu- hubbub. Hubbub is that the correct? Hullabaloo. Hullabaloo. There's been a lot of a lot of hub- hubbub. I'm, I'm going to take him. Hullabaloo. Hullabubbub. A lot of hubbub. Hullabubbub. There's been a lot of hullabubbub recently about kids uh, and their parents uh, and kids trying to get into college and uh, and and bribing bribing teachers and things like this. So uh, we what what I thought would be fun is I put together raise your hand in the audience if you have kids raise your hand raise your hand let me see who's got kids oh, four all right no. all right so take a look look at these people AJ pick pick out take a look okay oh oh I'm choosing someone you're choosing you're gonna pick but you don't have to do it right now but pick it out okay okay here's what we got okay we got a backpack uh, brand new backpack full of like uh, some really cool stuff. We're gonna play a game, oh, cool. and if you can answer, I, we got from Loot Crate. We've got a uh, this really uh, cool Futurama toy. We got some cool stuff. There's all sorts of cool stuff. T-shirts in here. So uh, what we're gonna do uh, is we're gonna play a little game with okay. you. We're gonna play a little game with you, and if you get enough answers correct to the game. Uh, then uh, one of these people is gonna win a uh, this backpack. How's that sound? Sound good? I love that. Sound good? Cool. But there's no connection to college bribery, right? Uh, n- uh, yeah. There, yeah. They can use the backpack to get into college. Well, here's here's the, why. The backpack's filled with money. Yeah. Here's why is because. There we go. Uh, here's a, the fun thing is is you were recently on uh, Family Feud, so this is a similar oh, game. Yeah, we suck. Uh, it's called Family Fraud. <laughs> Family fraud. Uh, I'm going to ask you some questions, and then you have to say whether they're real or whether they're made up. Are you ready? Okay. Okay, so did this happen, or is this made up? To get into college, a parent photoshopped their child's face onto a pole vaulter's body. Yeah, that happened. Is that true? It happened? Say it. It's true. It happened. That is true. That is correct. Come on. Okay, here we go. Question number two. To impress the admissions staff, a parent staged a photo shoot with water water polo equipment purchased from Amazon to fake being an athlete. Did that happen or is that made up? I think that's true. It is true. That is also true. This is the world we live in. That's sad. Question number three. A housewife desperate to have her children admitted to a private school paid $15,000 as a bribe. Is this true or false? It's true. No, it is false. It it was on Desperate Housewives. That was Felicity Huffman's character. Did that. Oh, wait, her character character in the show did that? Her character on the show did that. Got it. Okay, so not really Felicity. Not really Felicity, but her character. Okay. Number question number four. One student involved in the scandal is a white rapper named Billa, who said on camera, "My, uh, can you can you read this? Because <laughs> you don't want to get in trouble." 
Uh, I believe everyone has a right to go to college, man. Check out my CD, Cheese and Crackers. Oh. Is that real? Did that really happen? Or is that... True. Did, that is true. That is also true. true. You can find it on the internet. Yes. Fuck that kid. Billa. Billa, right? Billa. Yeah. Number five, a child involved in the, in, a, in the scandal was caught taking the SATs for other students. A child involved in the scandal was caught taking the SATs for other students. True or false? No, I think that's false. You are right. That is Correct. false. Yes. That's from that. the TV show Shameless, where William H. Macy's kid on that show did that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't confuse real life with yeah. these right. people. Number number six, due to pressure from relatives, one family lied on an application claiming to be ambassadors to Greece. Is that true or false? Um, I don't recall that. I think that's false. That is false. That was John Stamos and Lori Laughlin on Full House. Okay. <laughs> I need to check my references. I actually have. Yep. Actually happened on a, on a <laughs> show. show. <laughs> so great. Number seven, one excited student got hooked on drugs while attempting to gain an advantage on their exams. Did that happen? Is that part of the scandal? True or false? False. That is that is false. That is from Say by the I'm Bell. So excited! <laughs> <laughs> you won! You won, AJ! Yeah! You did it! Alright, we'll give this to you at the end. Here we go. Let's um let's grab some questions from the audience. Let's sure get thing. some questions. Oh, right away. Hand went up. Hands so up. powerful, so excited. Excuse me, everybody. Here you go. Oh, thank you. Um, I would love to know what your reaction was when you found out that Lainey was getting a spin-off and how that process went. Um, Good question. I, honestly. I have known Adam for a long time, and we had kind of talked about, you know, Lainey being a part of the spinoff in some way, but at the time it was a whole other pilot, which I don't know if you guys saw, but it aired one night on a Wednesday as a 90 special. And it didn't involve Lainey, but she was going to be introduced at some point. And then, you know, that didn't really take off, and months later Adam had called me personally and on my cell phone with two of the other producers, and I remember him saying, like, look, we've kind of retooled the pilot, and we really want it centered around Lainey, and um, it's going to basically tell the story from your point of view with Meller and Glass got around you, and I was shocked. I mean, I, I knew in some way I was going to work on this show, you know, outside of the Goldbergs in some capacity because of the spinoff, but I had no idea it was going to be like a lady centric thing. It, it's really, it was crazy. I, I cried when I got off the phone. Hell yeah. I really did. I, I was so grateful oh, and lucky. I'm so happy for you. It was really, it's changed my life. I mean, it's really, as an actor and just as, you know, a person in the sense that like, I, I have this steady job that I love that like, I don't get sick of. Like, and yeah. I love these people. I'm really lucky. And that show is killing it in the it ratings. Really is. Yeah. It, it is. It really is doing so well. Like, it's, it's like from when you do a spinoff of a show, it like almost never does I what know. that did, which is crazy. Even in yeah. recent history, doing a spinoff is like not really hard. Been very hard. Yeah, I was so. with Adam tonight. We were at the rap party for Goldberg's for season six, and he was like, I, "I honestly am like, I can't believe it's done this well." Like he was like, "I'm a little shocked." Like because it usually doesn't work. You're right. Like yeah. spinoff is not always good. Yeah, totally. Thank you t for coming here from a rap party for a hit show. <laughs> Are you out of your mind? <laughs> in the world right <laughs> yeah i would be there yeah we should um, all go yeah let's all go to the right i have a party. question right over right, here yeah, take it take it okay i need to win that prize just because i work in a middle school <laughs> with special education students but that's okay that's separate my question for you is do you get reversed like with literally like i know old people like who are actors and stuff like people come up and they're like oh my mom my grandmother loves you but like my daughter was like your biggest fan growing up does that bother you like when someone like me says no you're like god to her oh well oh my gosh i mean that's so nice i, I we i my sister and i get the whole i appreciate that my sister and i get the whole thing of like you were my childhood which is so sweet like that doesn't get old i actually think that's like it's kind of bizarre because you know in a way i'm like huh how like we're all still children like i used to feel like a kid how was that your childhood 
But it's it's very sweet and it means a lot to my sister and I. And it's, I love it's lovely that people still care about the music. Hey, it's so fun. Steven, do we have time for two quick ones? Two quick ones? Yeah, but yeah. we, we, we got to be wrap. quick. Yeah, All right, there's two go. quick ones. Oh, this he wants to be last, well, so we might not get to him because that was a moment. Um, here you go. <laughs> All right, hello. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Uh, so what are you most excited for uh, on tour that's coming up? I just can't wait to play the new EP live for the first time. Like, we've, you know cooked these creative songs into beings and now we get to like go release them to our fans and I'm excited to hear the reactions and also the most exciting thing is to release music and then tour and see if the fans you know really love a song or not if they've like worked on it sounds funny but like I know a song's loved when all the lyrics are being sung and I'm excited for releasing new music to see like what people sing when we're, when we're touring. I love it. I it love shows it. kind of what they connect with. So we, we have one last one, and right. with apologies to you, this is Steven's sister, so I gotta go oh, yeah. over here. Please, like, real on. talk. Sorry about that. Hey, we are huge fans. I was so excited to see this show and that our friend Rachel Crow is on it as well, and Aww. so I was wondering, is there any chance you guys would ever collaborate outside of the show since you're both freaking amazing musicians that's so sweet maybe i mean she's got an amazing voice i it's funny i've been asked that quite a bit because hey learantia who plays erica goldberg is a good friend of mine and also an amazing singer and we've talked about like maybe doing some sort of collab together i don't know what that would look like but i think rachel's really really talented so yeah why good, not good question sister give her a round good of applause <laughs> yeah yeah queen my sister, by the way, uh, her and her girlfriend are in a band, and they're uh, in the midst of recording their first album with Ben Harper, the... the oh, my uh, gosh. I love Ben Harper. The, the singer. That's big, amazing. Big deal. Big deal. Good Back for you. There. Big deal. Um, Steven, are you trying to get your sister the backpack? Is that what's happening? <laughs> I'm not You're trying to do it. that. Um, uh, AJ, you are uh, a wonderful person and so kind for coming hey. to do this. And the fact that we met at Green Blast just makes it even better. I know. I love um, it. Let's go get guys, some matzo ball soup. Uh, give it up for, uh, for AJ Machalka, everybody. Come thanks, on. guys. Hey, guys, thanks so much for listening to the nighttime show. Uh, AJ, AJ, God, Blue talent. Blue. Unbelievable Amazing. talent. Amazing. Just really uh, fascinating. That voice was incredible. Man, she really was. And so she and her sister, you can catch them on tour like next year, I guess. Oh, it's yeah. Gonna be cool. Go get their new album. Yeah. And uh, you can you can listen to her on Spotify. She's got uh, music out right mm-hmm. now. Uh, her Instagram is always filled with cool moments from the show, behind the scenes photos and videos of her and her sister just yeah. killing it. Uh, she is an elegant and amazing lady, and we were and very to lucky to have her. We only got her because we bumped into her at Greenblatt's Delicatessen. Ugh. That's L.A. for you right yeah. there. And we're like literally prepping last month's show. Yeah. And we're like, hey, we know you. And and we know uh, Sean Gimbroni, who was on, yeah. who's on Goldberg's. He plays Adam Goldberg. And he was on our show. And mm-hmm. she was like, oh, cool. I'll come to your show. And we were like, great. See ya. And that was it. And then yeah. she came and did our show. And she was amazing. Just so amazing. So, awesome. Yep. Yeah. So thanks so much for listening to The Nighttime Show. Go to uh and, ch- and get tickets for our next show, which uh, we have The Gin Blossoms, which is the mm-hmm. most 90s band ever. They're going to be performing, and they're so damn cool. They're going to do two songs and an interview. That's April 27th. So check that out, and don't forget to subscribe, like, share, all those things. And uh, we, 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 uh, we love you. 